Michael Collins hanging out with us on Sports Center. He's out of Beth Page Black this weekend. You know, you take off Brooks Kepka from that leaderboard, Mike, and I'd say we got a really good race going into the weekend, but it feels like everyone's going for second right now. Based on the people you've talked to, what's the buzz around there about Kepka? You know, he just looks so unstoppable. And it's funny, as we're chatting right now, Brooks Kepka was one of the last guys on the driving range. So even after as well as he's played the last two days, what does he do after his round on Friday? Go to the driving range and try and work things out just a little bit. Look, he is number one in strokes gains T degree. He's number one in scrambling. He's number two in proximity to the hole. Everything is clicking for Brooks Kepka. And as we know, this dude defended his title at the U.S. Open, and now he's trying to be the first guy to ever defend the U.S. Open title and then go defend the PGA Championship title. No one's ever done that before, but I just don't know who in this field is going to beat him if he keeps playing the way that he's playing. Yeah, he's knocking off records left and right. Lowest total after 36 holes in major championship history and lowest score to par 12 under after 36 holes as well. But let's talk about the guy that played in his group that won't be playing this weekend, and that is Tiger Woods. It's the first time we've seen him since he won there at Augusta National, but completely different golfers in that major compared to this one, Mike, what has seemingly been the biggest difference between the Tiger that won the green jacket and the one that showed up there at Beth Page? Well, the one that showed up here at Beth Page, Mike, he's rusty. That was a rusty Tiger Woods. And then he played, of course, with Brooks Kepka. So all the Tiger crazed fanatics out there that thought that the Tiger intimidation factor was going to be back, whoops, apparently they wrong on that one. Tiger got worse on Friday than he was on Thursday when it comes to hitting fairway. He only hit three fairways, nine greens. He had 30 putts. Every stat was worse except one, driving distance. And I think that might say something because he was playing with Brooks Kepka, who, oh, by the way, leads in total drive distance with all drives hit. That being said, there's a silver lining here. And the silver lining is, since Tiger's not going to play the weekend, there's a good chance we're going to see him at Jack's tournament, which is Memorial, one week after next. Yo, he likes that tournament. A lot of respect there for Jack Nicklaus, and he's multiple-time winner there as well. A little perspective here. Brooks Kepka over those first two rounds of the PJ Championship, beat Tiger Woods by 17 shots. Wow, that's what Tiger used to do to people. Michael Collins, have fun this weekend. Yeah, you know I will.